a special championship edition of the NCAC Sports Minute. We lead off today's highlights with the first round of the NCAA men's basketball tournament between Wabash and Barry. It was a tight game in the first half as Ed Reese Redmond gets the steal and the score. Wabash went into the half up 43-37. The Little Giants continued to pull away in the second half for a 91-79 victory. The win set up a second round matchup against the host Emory Eagles on Saturday. Up five, Wabash senior Jack Davidson connects on a three-pointer. He would hit seven in the game and post a season-high 42 points. In the end, Wabash would hang on for an 87-86 victory and advance to the third round of the tournament next weekend, taking on Williams in Bloomington, Illinois. Next up, we head to the first round of the NCAA Women's Basketball Tournament between DePaul and Illinois Wesleyan. Down early, the Tigers tried to claw back with this triple before halftime by Maya Shannon. The Tigers held a 55-53 lead in the final seconds, but a Titan three-pointer at the buzzer ended the Tigers' season at 23-4 and as NCAC champions. The NCAC tournament champion Wittenberg Tigers took on Marietta in the first round of the NCAA tournament on Friday. The Tigers held a 30-29 halftime lead, but couldn't hang on in the second half, falling 65-50 and ending their season at 18-8. The NCAA Indoor Track and Field Championships are coming up this weekend, March 11th and 12th in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. Eight conference individuals from four NCAC institutions are advancing to the meet. The Division III Swimming and Diving Championships are also scheduled for March 16th through 19th in Indianapolis, Indiana. Seventy individuals from four institutions will represent the conference at the meet. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time on the NCAC Sports Minute.